Haley Deegan lost her ride at AM Racing. The question is now, what is her future? Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. So last week it was announced that Haley Deegan would not be participating at the Chicago Street Course for AM Racing being replaced by Joey Logano. There was a lot of early speculation that they might have separated she might have left the team she might have gotten fired from the team that's what the early speculation was and then it got even deeper when a lot of people noticed that on her social media pages am racing was removed so on monday both haley deegan and am racing had statements released saying that they've went their separate ways and there's a lot of questions now who drives the number 15 for the rest of the season? What does Haley Deegan do for the rest of her career? Where does she go from here? And we're going to focus on that second question. Where does Haley Deegan go from here? Where does her career go? Does she maybe go full-time again? Does she go part-time? Does she maybe even go down to ARCA? Does she switch racing series? Who knows what is in store for Haley Deegan? I thought I'd go over a couple of scenarios I think Haley Deegan can do to continue her racing career in NASCAR. She can go the route that most drivers, I'd say, go for, and that's they try to find another full-time ride wherever that is available. Personally, I think it could be pretty tough for Haley Deegan to find a quality ride in either the Xfinity Series or in the Truck Series just because of her lack of performance in her couple of years here in the three primary NASCAR series. I think if she decides to go full-time again and doesn't get a quality ride offer, that's honestly, in my opinion, going to hurt her career more than help it. She is getting more experience, but then a lot of the people, a lot of the people that don't really like Haley Deegan or a lot of the people that are trying to judge Haley Deegan on her current performances, they're just going to double down on that because she's going to struggle if she's in even a worse car than the car she's in right now. She can do a full reset, so by that I mean she can go back to racing ARCA full-time, the main ARCA Menard series, maybe go back to trucks. I did say earlier with the other scenario, but this could be more of a planned scenario, really try to figure something out for trucks, not necessarily just settle for trucks. I think this could be a decent move only if she lands with a pretty competitive race team. Because as I said with the scenario before, if she races for not that great of a race team, she's going to continue to struggle, continue to struggle with her confidence on the racetrack. She needs to find the best offer possible, even if that means not racing full-time, which leads me into the scenario that I think she should do. And the scenario that I think that Haley Deegan should do for next season, if she's able to pull it off, maybe run a good amount of races in other series just to keep your skills up. But I'd say do what some of these other drivers have done, like a Joe Graff Jr., like a Jeffrey Earnhardt, like some of these other drivers that occasionally get maybe five or six races at a really great race team because of either sponsorship support or just overall getting the right finances for the ride. What I think Haley Deegan should do, maybe not this exact race team, but go to a team like Joe Gibbs Racing and go to Monster Energy. They both have relationships already with one another and try to finagle a deal to race maybe five races or four races, six races, whatever you're able to get and just really be able to feel out an actual fast, great race car and then maybe gain some of those confidence back and by that fourth or fifth race, maybe put in a great performance to show that, you, hey, you can do it. But if not, 
it could go the opposite way. I'd say it's a huge risk. If Haley Deegan could pull it off, and I think she can, I think if she put the effort into a scenario like that, it could be pulled off. I want to see Haley Deegan succeed. She was pretty talented in the ARCA series. She did really well in SRX. She really struggled in the trucks. She's been really struggling in the Xfinity series. I do think she has some talent. I'm not necessarily sure how high that talent is. Right now, I haven't really seen any of it in the three primary series, which is really unfortunate. But I'm hoping that can change and maybe can if she goes with the scenario I'm talking about and gain a little bit of confidence. And then at that point, she might be able to use that as a building block for her career. But give me all your thoughts down below about Haley Deegan, about AM Racing, about Haley Deegan's future. What do you think her future will be? Do you think she'll be racing in Xfinity next year, the trucks, maybe a different racing series, or maybe not even racing at all? She could potentially be even one of those drivers that just disappears. You never know. We'll have to see what happens with her and her future in racing. And keep an eye out on my channel because tomorrow night and early the next day, I should have four videos I'm hoping to have up. We'll have one video talking about Rodney Childress going to Spire. We'll have a video about the NASCAR electric vehicle. We'll have a video also about the weekend activities that we had for Xfinity and ARCA because I'm already late on that. You've seen all the changes I've been making to the channel. Even got this new mic here today. And also the fourth thing will be that tomorrow we will get an announcement on who the next front row motorsports driver will be. So expect a short out tomorrow afternoon and a video tomorrow night on that. So four videos coming out within the next, let's say 30 hours. And if you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. And my name is Kyle, a.k.a. Racing Boy Short, saying peace.